Hey guys, we're gonna talk about outsourcing in this video, a, a guide to hiring a VA or, or even just getting a temporary worker to do some of your work. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur and you are not outsourcing some part of your business, you are going to struggle to grow. I promise you there is something that you can outsource. And so I'm gonna teach you how to do it and how to do it right so that you don't hire the wrong person and lose lots of money. So uh, there's two sites that I recommend when you're outsourcing, okay? Two sites that you can go to find great workers. One is Upwork, you may have heard of that. Uh, that. Upwork is where I would go to find temporary workers, okay? So someone that you just need to do a quick project. Hey, I just need this quick design. I just need this quick video edited. Uh, little things that you're not going to be doing a ton of, okay? That's where I'd go on Upwork. And the reason for that is Upwork charges um, a lot of fees. And so if you hire someone for the long term, you're gonna end up paying Upwork a ton of fees in the long term. Anyway, all you do to go to Upwork is you go to this Find Freelancers, and let's say I want someone to do YouTube SEO, which is something I, I do hire out quite a bit. Okay, YouTube SEO, and here's why Upwork's so cool. You can really get a good idea of, of how good a, of a worker this is, okay? So we've got Patricia, 24 bucks an hour, 30K earned on Upwork, and 88% of people were happy with the job she did. Go down one. This is probably the one I'd hire. <clears throat> Actually, it didn't really give me the 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 search that I wanted. <laughs> That's funny. It's saying Swedish English translator. Not at all what I was looking for. Um, maybe we should say YouTube editor. That's funny. It doesn't seem to be able to find a YouTube video editor. Okay. So we've got this person with fifty dollars an hour, five k earned, and eighty percent job success. Yeah, eighty percent. I don't want to be one of those twenty percent that's unhappy, right? Let's pop down, same price, 50 bucks an hour, 9K earned, so he's been on Upwork for a little longer, 97% job success, okay? Ding, 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 right? You are pretty positive that you are gonna be happy if you hire Brooke right here to do your voice, audio editing, and production of your videos, okay? So then all you do is you'd invite her to a job, you explain what the job is, and you'd create the job and explain it, and you'd go from there. You'd hire them, you'd give Upwork fees, and you can either pay them one, through like an hourly or you can pay them for an entire project and it'll ask you as you as you go to create it okay so that's upwork <clears throat> very good site to hire temporary workers but it can be a little expensive if you're hiring someone for the long run on upwork so that's where onlinejobs.ph comes in um, by the way there's a link down below to both of these websites um if i were you i would click that link <laughs> no i get i get slightly compensated uh, for sending you through those links um and so uh, that's how I'm able to put out so much free content. Anyway, <clears throat> so onlinejobs.ph, you go create a quick free account, very easy to do. And this is how you hire a VA, a more permanent worker, okay? Someone that you want to stay as kind of a, a workforce for a while. And it's all done through the Philippines. This is all Filipinian workers. <clears throat> and there's a reason for that. It's because this place is awesome. This is where you can find the Philippines. You can get incredible workers that honestly are a lot of times better than you at things and you can get them for super cheap just because of the way money works, right? There's just different values for money in different countries. In the Philippines, you can live fairly happily on $800 a month, which you couldn't do in the United States. So you're gonna go to onlinejobs.ph and you're just gonna <clears throat> post a job, okay? And I'm gonna give you a few hints here. So be very descriptive in your title. You wanna capture people, the right people, the people that actually can do something. And so you make sure that you like express that in your title if it's video editing, you say, video editor needed, something like that. Now, job description, be very thorough in your job description. One thing that you'll always wanna do is you'll wanna give a, a kind of a weird command in the job description. Something like, uh, tell them in your subject line, so when they write back to you, upon applying, start with, love it or something right and what that does is it weeds out the like 60 percent of people that just apply to everything and don't actually read okay you want people that actually read the job description and feel like they can fulfill that so <clears throat> in your subject line uh, upon applying start with love it and that'll weed out a ton of people you'll be able to go and when you get a bunch of applications you'll be able to see people that uh, didn't say love it and you can just ignore them because they never even read your description okay wage salary uh, it does kind of depend on uh, what the job is typically like two to three dollars for lower end stuff and five to ten dollars for like higher end really educated stuff uh, my youtube seo person uh, i do five dollars an hour for someone that like writes you'd maybe do like six seven eight bucks an hour things like that um so indicate currency let's say 400 a month usd 
type employment, part-time, full-time. Um, <clears throat> I usually just leave this as it is. And then you select a category and go from there, okay? And what happens is the cool thing about all my jobs at PH, you don't even have to pay to do all this. You'll see that you can do this right now without having paid. Once you've gone through everything, it'll send you a bunch of applicants, but it won't actually give you the contact information to reply to them until you've paid for a month subscription. So what you'll do is you'll pay for a month subscription to onlinejobs.ph. It'll let you access all of your workers. So you can see here my messages. These are all the people that applied to my last job. You can see this person, YouTube rocks, YouTube rocks. That was what I told them to put in my subject line. Okay, YouTube rocks. So you're gonna get tons of cool applications and for that, and then you can just cancel at the end of the month and you're out one month fee, it's like 50, 60 bucks and you've hired uh, what hopefully is an awesome VA. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll then just communicate with them however you want, typically I'll get them on and then I'll, I'll hop aboard Skype and I'll get on a video call with them on Skype, ask them some questions. I'll ask them to actually do a, a little bit of the tasks that I'm having them do and make sure that they are kind of capable. I'll talk them through it and then we'll hire them and go from there. A cool thing about this is if they don't work out, you know, if they if they were unclear or they didn't uh, they don't do their job right, it's very easy to get rid of them. Uh, I'm not saying you should, but you can easily fire someone who's not doing their job essentially when you when you hire through this because you can just let them go on the spot. Um, and once again, I'm not saying you should. It all depends on the situation, but you can. So, what kind of tasks do we outsource? You know, you hire a VA here. You you hire a VA on Upwork or on OnlineJobs.ph, and then you don't really know what to have them do. Pretty much anything can be outsourced, so get to know that. But what you should be outsourcing is one things that you don't do very well. Anything that you're not super good at. You know, if you're like a business-minded person that's artistic stuff, outsource all your art. That's me. I can't do art worth crap, but I outsource it and I get some really cool stuff. Um, so that's one. And then the second thing you should be outsourcing is anything that that uh, is systematic. So if there's something you're doing like every day or every week, like oh, I log in for an hour every week and I you know do all this, I pay all these people or I do all this. Anything that's systemized, you can show a VA and you can get them to do it. Okay. Um, and and honestly, <clears throat> pretty much anything can be systemized. So I have my personal email and then I have a support email for a lot of what I do and my VA handles all the support stuff and uh, I just teach her every time something new comes up and, uh, and she learns what's new and then we don't have that issue again. Um, and then a lot of things like I put out YouTube videos every single day almost. So I just record and then I send them to her and I've systemized it so she can just take that video and she knows to add a thumbnail and to add intro video stuff and music and write a good description and do all the stuff she needs to and then to post it. And uh, and all I had to do is film it, right? So it's awesome. <laughs> and that's the kind of stuff that you want your VA doing is things that, that are systemized that you can show them and they can take and do multiple times. Uh, I It all obviously depends on your business, but, um, but yeah, so... Hopefully that was uh, slightly helpful. If you've liked this video, click the subscribe button. If you're watching it in YouTube, I, I might have it might be embedded somewhere and you can't do that. But if you can see a subscribe button somewhere, I would push it. And uh, thanks for watching. Watching once again. This was Spencer from Buildapreneur.